Hello Huachong students, in this video I'll be explaining how does Singapore use monetary policy to correct demand pool inflation. So as we all know, Singapore is a small and open economy. What does this mean? This means in our AD curve, which is C I G X minus M, because we are small and open economy, this X minus M component is the most significant component of our AD curve. What does this mean? This means that if we are suffering from demand pool inflation, if we want to have any success, if we want to have any success to solve demand pool inflation, we must somehow reduce our net exports. So I'll show you how do we use exchange rate policy to uh, reduce X minus M. Now first, a few things to note that your X minus M is not just the quantity of exports minus the quantity of imports. Because the, en the entire GDP is in monetary terms, we got the express X minus M in dollar terms. So this is what this means is actually PXQX minus PMQM or this is known as export revenue while this is known as import expenditure okay let's move on to the next note we have our PXQX and our PMQM. Now, when, when Singapore wants to solve demand pool inflation, wants to minimize demand pool inflation, what it does is to appreciate the Singapore currency. What happens if you were to appreciate the Singapore currency? When the Sing dollar rise, what happens is that your price of exports will rise in terms of the foreign currency okay conversely the price of imports in Singapore will fall in terms of domestic currency okay so do express it carefully in your essays as well as your case study so let's ask ourselves this question when PX rise and PM fall how will this X minus M, this PX times QX minus PM times QM change. Now, to, to solve demand pool inflation, we want this entire net exports to fall so that the AD curve will shift to the left. Let's recall what we learned under elasticity. Okay, if PX, QX, when PX rise, under what condition will this entire product fall? Okay, so if you can recall what you learned in elasticity, if the demand for the exports is priced elastic, a rise in the export price will lead to a more than proportionate fall in the quantity demand for exports. So that will guarantee that the PXQX would fall. So you, you need the PED to be more than 1. Okay, what about the PM times QM? Okay, when PM fall, now, if we want this whole thing, this net exports to fall, we need PM, QM to rise. So under what condition would this fall in the price of imports lead to a rise in the so-called import expenditure? Now, again, if the demand for the imports are price elastic, a fall in the price of imports will lead to a more than proportionate rise in the quantity demanded for imports, thus leading this entire term to rise, which is what we want. Okay, so let's move on to the next note. What does this, this show? This, this shows that one, one way in which an appreciation of sink currency will lead to uh, X minus M falling is for either, okay, we have PEDX to be more than one or PEDM to be more than one. Okay, so what the Marshall learner condition, how, how does it come in is the fact that you do not need these conditions to actually work for it, uh, for an appreciation of Sing dollar to decrease net exports. All you need to do is that to, en to ensure that the sum of the exports, the price elasticity of exports and the price elasticity of import is greater than 1. Now this is known as the Marshall learner condition. Okay, so if the Marshall Learner condition were to hold, 
and appreciation of the sing dollar will decrease your net exports thereby reducing demand pool inflation okay the converse is also true okay if you want to increase your net export what you need to do is to depreciate the sing dollar as you depreciate the sing dollar again if the ml condition hold the x minus m will rise and this will lead to an Im improvement in your in your national income and increase in the national income so you might want to do that if let's say your country is facing a recession i'll i'll leave it to you as homework to work it out how does a depreciation increase x minus m just use elasticity again thank you